You've probably seen these signs, but as we are in hurricane season, we want to ask, do you know the science behind boil water advisories? We have a look inside the lab on North Laura Street to see how it all comes together. Kim Britt is the lab manager of Drinking Water Services and has been with JEA for more than 14 years. She says a precautionary boil water advisory can be initiated if there is a broken pipe. And there is a possibility, although very slim, that bacteria could get in the water. So that's the, that's the reason for the advisory. Or if a sample comes back as positive for E. coli. An advisory is issued as a precaution when there is a possible risk to water quality. A notice, on the other hand, means contamination has been confirmed. If it is an actual notice, we will do a whole bunch more testing and narrow down the reasoning and um, fix the problem. To get a boil water notice is actually very rare. Tori Johnson is an environmental scientist senior and helps collect more than 300 samples taken around JEA service area each month. So we'll go out and we'll test for the chlorine residual. And then once the, we have a satisfactory chlorine residual, which is a minimum of a 0 0.2, um, we will take a sample in a 100 milliliter bottle and then we'll cap it, put it on ice and then bring it back to the lab for them to analyze. To start the process, they work to create an environment that the bacteria, if present, would thrive in. Here we have a prep step where we're going to take um, media. This is kind of like food for the bacteria if they're present in the sample. The sample is then put in a warm bath and then an incubator for 18 hours. At the end of the process, they look to see if there is a color change. And we're looking for a color of this yellow or darker in the sample. If that color change is spotted, it goes under a UV light to look for E. coli. In this test sample, you can see the one turning bright blue under the lights. And that's the indicator for E. coli. If a precautionary boil water advisory is activated for your neighborhood, expect to receive an email alert from JEA, and you would likely see a sign like this in your neighborhood. Water samples will be collected from the area to confirm water quality and determine whether the advisory was caused by a single unsatisfactory result or further action is needed. You can find any active boil water advisories listed on JEA's webpage. Click Outage Center, then Water Notices. If you find yourself under a precautionary boil water advisory or notice, make sure you are bringing your water to a boil for a minute before using it for cooking or drinking. Expect to be under that advisory or notice for at least two days, because that is how long it will take to get back another round of samples. Once the advisory or notice is lifted, you could run your water for a minute to flush out your pipes. It's not mandatory, but it's not a bad idea to do. Making sure the water is clean and safe is a constant cycle. And just as some samples are cleared, Tor Johnson is headed back out to collect some more. JEA, building a safer community.